They're running outside, and watch what a job that they do. LaFave up on the linebacker, Marks on the linebacker, and boom, Patterson is gone. You know, the way you get big runs, especially when you're running outside, is when your receivers, tight ends, and running backs are willing to block for you, and UP does that extremely well. Bulls take over after a two-play 65-yard drive to start the game. This out to Dominic Jackson. As the edge and he's across midfield. First down has certainly earned that distinction. First and ten to the three wide. Patterson breaks free and he's off. Touchdown, Jared Patterson. He's got two in the first four minutes of the game. A 31 yard strike and Buffalo in the driver's seat, 13 nothing. Well, Kent State's got some problems, and I'm going to tell you right now, that's just zone to the right. And watch. Everybody's zone stepping to the right. That's a huge hole right there. Nobody at the second level there, and that's one of Patterson's easiest touchdowns this season. Kent State likes to move a lot, angle and slant up front to try to get penetrated in five or more. They can give, look over the middle, complete. And to the 35-yard line, first the D-line starts to get gas, and they get no pass rush. But they're not even lined up right to his top receiver the last yeah. hit. Five down from Crum. Trickett's field goal is good. Now three of four on the season. And Kent State with points. But Buffalo, a 14-3 advantage here on CBS Sports Network. Back with the knockout penetration. In the game next year, just gives one point. Xavier Williams, one back, breaks to the line, and is finally taken down as he's possible. Trump takes the give with time, looking over the top again to Polk. Brings it in. Beautiful catch by Jay Sean Polk, one-on-one. -on -one. 16-0 in that senior season. Crum takes the shovel, look over the middle, touchdown for Kent State. And they're finally into the end zone. It's Chris Leach, the junior tight end, for the Golden Flashes. Just awesome play design right there. I mean, really, really good play design. And there could be some talk whether or not they go for two. Watch, everything's going one way. Leach comes underneath the formation behind the offensive lineman and got lost. But she's doing an outstanding job for those young people in Baltimore. And then Zach LeFay shifts over. Patterson to the left side, through the hole, and he's off. Patterson going for his third touchdown today. All in the first quarter. And Buffalo continues its ground attack. But hold on, there's a flag on the play. Let's see if this is coming back. After a 58-yard scamper. Offside. Defense number zero lined up in the neutral zone. That penalty is declined. The result of the play is a touchdown. Wow. Pretty much the same play, Ed, as the first play of the game, where it was just a stretch to the left, and UB, they just keep hammering you with the run game. Well, watch again. Tight end and the lead back. Watch both these guys. They're both going to get the good kick out, find the linebacker, boom, Patterson cuts it behind. And I'm telling you right now, Kent State safety is to miss out quick. Now, remember, they almost jumped last time. UB is good from 27. This time, I think Kent State. Ball start. Jump. Offense number 71. Five yard penalty. Fourth down. And move a little further back. This is the second fourth and two where they've elected to kick a field goal. You'll see 71 right there. Can't see it there, but I had seen him move his arm just a little bit. Kudik is playing left tackle for him. But this is the second fourth and two. Now it's fourth and seven. That Kent State elected to take a field goal rather than go for it. This is a 44 yarder. Let's it fly. Off the post. No good. And Buffalo will take over with a 21 10 lead. Well, and that's just a disaster, then. I mean, you don't go for it on fourth and two. Instead, you kick a field goal to try to make it a one score game. And the Max Special Teams Player of the Year a year ago doinks it right off the left upright. UB still up by two scores. And Chris Leach. 
to the 42. Crump fakes. Big pass downfield. Catch is made. Touchdown. Now there's a flag on the play. We'll see if it's another big play score for Isaiah McCoy of Kent State. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's defensive pass interference and McCoy scored anyway. Pass interference, defense number 18. That penalty is declined. Touchdown. 42 yards, no surprise that it's McCoy. No, I mean, he's the real McCoy. Take a look at him at the top of the screen. It's just man-to-man -man coverage, and he just runs a deep post, really a skinny post. Baker can't stay with him. I don't know about the interference call there. It looks to me like he just got a damn hold on Chapel Hill last night. And tracing the balls, starting the 25, Patterson. They could get to him, but Trees rolling out. Throws complete to Honey. Ruiz avoids a tackle and is finally dragged out past 849. Wilson in motion. Here's Patterson. Escapes a tackle. He splits a hole. Patterson's off once again. Jared Patterson have about four touchdowns here in the opening half. And the latest one from 49 yards. It's no joke. This kid's for real. Official timeout for an injured Penn State defender. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen this before. You know, we've got 10 minutes left in the second quarter. Timeout on the field. And he just had his third long touchdown run here. And they're going against a team that's won seven games in a row. They're going against a team that's undefeated, and they just have not had an answer for Jarrett Patterson. 20. From their own 41. Bump fakes the give. Looking outside, he's got a man. And completes it across midfield. Oh, but he will hit you. Hope in motion. Crumb escapes a tackle. Crumb still on his feet. He's got the first down. And he's through the end zone. Dustin Crumb. Touchdown. Bump for Car City in Buffalo. Browns. Kent State back within four. Good luck trying to bring down this senior quarterback. College football on CBS Sports Network, presented by Geico. Their opportunities came later, and they made the most of it. They haven't given it up. Lawrence shifts over to Buffalo. This is Patterson on the ground. Another big run across the field. Patterson just try and bring him down. He squirts inside the 35 of Buffalo with other six to go in the second. Yep, watch this time it's stretched to the right. Good block by the running back marks again. I love how the running backs block for each other. Nobody ever gets a good shot on Patterson. Kent State defenders having a really tough time getting off of blocks. Six. And Trace on the slant. Cook's got it. Cook spins from the one. Van Trace to Patterson. He dives. He's in. Touchdown. Jared Patterson, number five in the first half alone. Well, I've been doing games for a long time now. I don't think I can ever remember a guy having five touchdowns in the first half. And by the way, there's two minutes and 17 seconds left, so who knows? This is just ISO. Good kick out by Molinic, the fullback. Patterson just slides in. They're going to run their two-minute offense, but that's their normal offense is up-tempo. Interesting to get start with a run, but Bradford at 6'243 gets a first down. Brian for scrimmage from the 26. It's Krum. Going behind the McCoy, just to it, spun down inside the 40-yard line. What a catch there by Mr. McCoy. This, this is like a video game right now. I feel like I'm playing against my buddies in Madden. I mean, McCoy just beats him right at the line again. Not like Crump. Crump over the middle, incomplete. Way behind his man, McCoy. And the Bulls with Koontz getting a hand on it. Turnover on downs for Kent State. Wow. Down with no team, but he got it low, but no chance on this attempt. And at the break, the end of the first half, the Bulls and Jared Patterson, all five of their time. <laughs> the 25, they shot both in motion. Long ball from Crum, caught by McCoy with a flag on the play. He was grabbed back to the line. The pitch. 
Williams, a oh, little more real estate this time. Touchdown, Kent State, here on the first drive of the third quarter. It's a one-score game. You know, the stance of Crum under center, his posture, I thought it was going to be quarterback sneak. You don't see him on look, I thought that was quarterback sneak, but he wanted to push off that right leg to be able to get down the line and run the option. Very close pitch relationship right there. But a UB school record with 301 and four. Goes the other way. Trevor Wilson sidesteps again. He's finally wrestled down at the 40-yard line. Good recovery for the tackle by the cornerback, Elvis Hines. Absolutely love that play call right there. Everything's going left. That's been the successful play for UB, the stretch. And you bring Wilson, who can really roll the other way. Nice job. It's between the two teams. Patterson with it. Patterson with a hole. Spins to the 10-yard line. On, what? Patterson again up the middle. He's in. Touchdown, Jared Patterson. And he's matched his own school record. That's number six. And the Bulls lead it here by 10 with 10 and change to go in the third quarter. This is unbelievable. And, and they're not anywhere near done yet. Just a little inside counter scheme pulling Molinich around. And Jarrett Patterson. Slung that. And in motion's done. Patrice with time over the middle, into double coverage, finds none. A oh, beautiful pass. And a first down into Kent State territory. Old school football player. Love guys like that. Here's a toss. Marks up the gap. Marks first down and more. Patterson to the outside and dragged out near there for sure. Going for it on fourth and two. Van Trace to the end zone, off the hand of none, but a flag just sitting there in the end zone. And was there contact on the part of Butler for Kent State? Holding, defense number 24, penalized half the distance to the goal, automatic first down. Been a lot of grabby defensive backs in this game, and I really like the decision of Lance Leipold to go for it there. Leipold being more aggressive in this game than Lewis has been. But I think he realizes even to make the field goal, you're still only up two scores, 14 points. Watch the top of your screen right there. Yep, you can see the hold there. That's a good job by the official. Nice snap. Marks again up the middle. He's in, standing up. Second touchdown this year for Kevin Marks. The running of the Bulls here against Kent State late in the third quarter. They lead it 48-31. Yeah, you'll see it's just watch Molnich comes in. It's inside zone, split zone. Molnich didn't even have anybody to block. Wow. It's a little too easy there. For Kevin Marks and UB. You gotta be happy. Picked up seven on the last play. 27. Intercepted. Finally brought in. Oh, Crum looking over the middle, and it's picked off by Gross with 22 seconds left in the third. Crum just his third interception here this season. Gigantic play by UB. I mean, they're already up 18. It's an RPO. Watch it. He's going to put the ball in the belly of the running back. The guy he's reading, he thinks it's open. And what a great design by UB to bring Gross all the way from the other side. They fooled him. They tricked him. All in a shift. Patterson takes the handoff, and he's in. Jared Patterson, how about lucky number seven? It's a new Buffalo record. He breaks another one of his own marks. Incredible stuff from Jared Patterson. Stop me if you've heard this one before. It's stretch zone to the left. Everybody moving horizontally. Patterson knows exactly where to cut it up inside. In a row, but that is at least coming. Over the top. Complete. A big touchdown saving tackle. Five yards out. And Trickett is good. 56-30. Yep, and a snap. 
Anderson. Again, oh my goodness. Speed, Cashman, Field, and off to the races. Jared Patterson, how about touchdown number eight? And maybe the toughest one of all for 65 yards. Are you kidding me? I mean, I thought he was going down. Watch, they all quick to the line scrimmage. You don't need to see how they're lining up. Snap it quick. I thought he was getting tackled at right there. There's two guys. He stays on his feet and another house call for Jarrett Patterson. We're seeing history right now. Trump keeps throws. Wow. What a catch for the touchdown. Wow, indeed. Keishan Abram into the end zone. And Kent State puts up six with under five left. I mean, nobody likes throwing it on fourth down more than Kent State. He pulls it. I want to try to throw it. It's actually well covered. I can't believe Hill wasn't able to make that play on the football. What a catch. Left hand by Abram. I mean, it's Marks. One touchdown. Oh, my gosh. Another. 116 to go. If you're a Buffalo fan, your team might hit 70 with the extra point. But that man sitting on eight at ties the record. That could have been us. Watch. It's stretched to the left. It's well blocked. Marks is a stud backup running back. But that, that could have been our waltz in the history at in the touchdown. Buffalo make the statement. Oh, Here to oh, the ball is loose, out. knocked away. King oh, could oh, snatch it up. Oh, oh. oh, Glass, right spot, right time. Robbie Glass. Had transfer. Oh, oh, this one gets away. Oh, it's loose. Oh, my goodness. Backup quarterback Colin Schley running a fire drill <laughs> in the final minute. And again, you're really giving the ball back to Buffalo. Oh, man. This has been an entertaining game. Drops the snap, bobbles it again. And watch this move right here. Flick of the year. had won seven in a row. Buffalo on the verge of a 4 0 start. Deep ball. Slee, wide open. Cephas dropped it. Here in the closing moments, the conversation. Patterson. Just the next greatest Buffalo running back. What a year here in 2020. Look, take the fair catch. Here with nine seconds to go. And the Buffalo Bulls. Impressive plan, impressive performance. And hey, Patterson, 62 yards first play from scrimmage. That was only the beginning. Ed, are you thinking what I'm thinking right now? I'm thinking they can hand the ball to Jared Patterson for one more play. I don't think they're going to do it. I think they're going to take a knee. <laughs> but that's what I'm thinking. I think Van Trees has them in a kneel formation, and that will do it. But in many ways, Ross Tucker, we did see history today. That man had about eight touchdowns. He has tied an FBS record with 409 rushing yards as well. Number two all time, Jarrett Patterson, as good as it gets. Congratulations if you had Jared Patterson on your fantasy football team. You win. <laughs> I don't know if people play college fantasy football anymore, but if you did, you win. Unbelievable performance. For Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.